everybody. I'm uh, Giuseppe Rossini, PhD at Telecom Karim. And I will to show you our latest work on the sizing, uh, the genius sizing of uh, content, um, CCN content stores. So this is at the agenda of uh, my presentation. I introduce the, the I introduce the world, the what are CCN and uh, the I will motivate our work. Then we talk about simulation scenario and I will define some metrics and topologies. We, um, I conclude with the simulation results and uh, I um, give some, some conclusion. So CCN is a, a new internet paradigm. Maybe uh, there, are, there have been uh, three presentations about CCN. No? So you know what is CCN, but I recap uh, uh, Briefly, the files are subdivided in chunks. The data transfer is uh, receiver oriented, uh, and uh, we shift from a network of routers to a network of caches. So, here is the, the interest the, the client uh, expresses an interest for the data. The first time is the, repos the repository that hits the, the, the data back, uh, but the second time is the First cache that has cached the data and returns, the, returns it to the client. So in this case, uh, we have a network of caches, uh, and uh, we consider that Science P have a given amount of memory to distribute among these uh, among these these nodes, uh, and so the problem is. Uh, one solution is to split this memory among all the all the nodes, so each. Uh, Cache each uh, content store has the same memory amount of memory. Another solution is to find a, a critic point where to put more effort in terms of memory at some other point of the network where we we can uh, <coughs> uh, we, where we can uh, uh, subtract uh, uh, this amount of memory. So the, the total amount of memory is always the same. The problem is here is uh, how to define a critical point because we can do the we can define uh, the more connected as critical or uh, the farther the more central. I mean, as a, an anticipation is uh, the anticipation is that the more simple, uh, the simplest uh, paradigm rules always. So the keep it simple, stupid uh, rule is uh, is always the better uh, the better method. So this is the basic idea. We have uh, here is uh, the gen network with 22 nodes uh, and the C total total capacity. In this case, we distribute homogeneously the the cache among all nodes. In this other case, we individuate some central points where to put more memory, and other points where to uh, get more some, some memory. So, for example, here we have uh, chosen the between the centrality here. The GN central is a, a criteria that gives more memory to uh, nodes that are uh, crossed by more shortest path. So, for example, here node, node 12 is crossed by practically all shortest path pass through node 12, while, for example, node 6 or uh, node 13 are crossed by few shortest paths, so they receive less memory. So, uh, this is the the, the basic idea, and I start with uh, describing you the simulation uh, we have done. We have built up a scalable open source simulator that namely CCN Sim uh, that can permit us to simulate real case uh, scenarios. We have considered five real network topologies Giant, uh, Bilene, Deutsche Telekom, Tiger 2, and LR3. We have considered the, the YouTube scenario with uh, 1,000 million of files, uh, geometrically distributed with a mean size of 10 megabytes. The, uh, the popular distribution is uh, a, a zip. And we underline that uh, um, in spite of the, the, the current detail, we deal with uh, a, huge amount, a huge catalog of uh, one petabyte size. Concerning the CCN network uh, aspects, uh, we consider 10 kilobytes uh, of chunk size uh, and the total case space of n multiplied by 10 gigabytes, where n is the, the number of nodes in the network. So if we homogeneously split uh, the, the, the cache space, uh, each node receives uh, 10 gigabytes of, of memory. Okay, here 
in the talk about central unit, I the centrality ranks I uh, just list the centrality ranks. Yeah, I will not describe them in, uh, in details. But given a graph and the node, we can we can apply some some function on that node that say the, the important the centrality of the, of that uh, of that node such that node. So the, the question is which is the best choice? Which is the, the best method to distribute the memory? And a second question is okay, I have uh, we have said that we have uh, 10 kilobytes of chunk uh, sized. Okay, but it does not does not exist memories, uh, slot of memory like 10 kilobytes. I cannot add to a router 10 kilobytes of memories or uh, about 20 kilobytes of memory. So we have to deal with the, the, a, a sort of error introduced by qua, a, qua, the quantization of the memory that we can add to, to, to routers. So we consider a proportional approach. We, we consider a proportional approach in which, okay, the, the memory is distributed proportional to the, the metric. Well, we consider let's say quantized one where uh, c is the quantization step, and we um, we stress the error that introduced by the, the quantization. Okay, here we talk about uh, a, a, um, about ranks again, and this is just to show you as uh, there is a, a really huge uh, um, space of investigation because, for example, in, uh, in the plot on the left, we have uh, we have a uh, uh, plot for all for one metri matrix we have plot for one network we have plot all the distribution given from all matrix, so we go from the skewed distribution, here the bus is the, 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 the <coughs> amount of space allocated to each, uh, to each router, from the most homogeneous, uh, homogeneous distribution. And you can see that also for the same, net, the same network, different metrics give a really different uh, dis um, space distribution. In the, in the right plot, we have considered just one <coughs> metric uh, applied on all networks, in this case we consider the between centrality, and we can see as uh, we shift from the homogeneous, uh, for, uh, for some network we, we have that uh, the, 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 the distribution is uh, quite homogeneous, is similar to the homogeneous case, while for other networks we have that uh, the, the distribution is really uh, far from the homogeneous case. So also for the same metrics, considered on different networks, we have a really deep a really huge uh, uh, space of investigation. So this is the idea that you can uh, you can get from uh, from these, these pictures. Okay, we start with performance. Firstly, we consider if to use if we consider the error introduced by quantized approach. Here we consider the, a realistic uh, quant uh, quantization step of one gigabyte. And uh, we consider here on the plot the error introduced by, by the, the quantization uh, of, of the memory. Well, some, uh, here we can, uh, we can get some, uh, mm, some sense, some, uh, uh, we, we can say something, we can say that the quantized approach is uh, surely is more realistic, okay, but it's also more robust. Why is it more robust? Because, okay, it has uh, a bounded performance loss of up to 2% in, in the worst case, but for some players uh, we have uh, a significant performance gain uh, up to 20% uh, uh, gain. Why there is this, this, uh, this gain? Because in the case of, uh, in the case of proportion, uh, the, the proportion of cross, some nodes receive a really few amount of memory, for example 10 kilobytes or 20 kilobytes because the, 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 the memory has uh, are, uh, the, the chunk is, uh, I mean, the chunk is 20 kilo, is uh, 10 kilobytes here. While in the while in the case of, quanti of the quantization, the minimum amount of memory that the node can receive uh, is one gigabyte. So it's uh, this is this this is the problem with the with the proportional approach. So. Here is the, the last slides uh, and uh, the, the slides that uh, would answer the, to, the que to our initial question, which is the, the best, which rank performs better. 
So we, have, we see that uh, here we uh, scatter plots the cache sheet uh, uh, versus the pass stretch matrix, uh, and we can uh, see that we see that uh, um, going uh, on the bottom right corner, uh, the, the matrix and networks uh, um, begin better. But anyway, this is a very, a very messy, very messy graph because it's very difficult to understand. It's, it's very difficult to understand which, which metric can, can win from, uh, from this competition. So there is no clear winner, and uh, maybe it's better to consider just one single, uh, just one single metric. Here is the we consider just the, the cache sheet metric. And we plot here on this graph for uh, two exponent alpha of 1.5 or 1.25 the, the gain introduced by the heterogeneous approach uh, compared to the homogeneous one. The homogeneous one is represented by the, the baseline, the zero, the zero level. And in the gray part of this plot, we have plotted the, the, the loss due to the, the, the heterogeneous distribution. While in the white part of the graph, we have plot the gain due to the homogeneous distribution. So we can see as uh, there is a, also here is a bit difficult, but surely we have that in the case of the, the degree centrality, in almost all cases, uh, we have a gain in, in terms of, uh, uh, in, in terms of cash sheet. Apart from the Abilene network where there are uh, a very few. Uh, there are very few diversity in the in the um, in the degree distribution of of the nodes. So I conclude. We have done this symmetry campaign of more than ten thousand simulation with a one petabyte catalog, and we have we have uh, learned some lessons. The keep it, the keep it simple stupid principle is respected. We had. Uh, memory to nodes with more uh, network and space cards. It's a really simple rule of thumb to, for 10 operators. And uh, also we have shown that the quantized approach is uh, realistic and robust, so it's no problem with, uh, with quantization. Which are the, the goal, in some cases, this, is, this may not be feasible because uh, adding too much cache space uh, can slower the, the line speed uh, operations. And OK, we have that uh, there is a marginal benefit uh, in, uh, in this uh, heterogeneous distribution up to a 2%. So we not, cannot gain uh, so much in, uh, at most in, uh, for the case that we have simulated. So this concludes my presentation. I thank you all for your attention. And if you want, you can download the, the simulator by the driver side. Thank you. So time for questions. <laughs> I just have some questions. So uh, what is your understanding about so I understand that you had several metrics that could not be presented in detail here yeah. Yeah. to discuss on which are the, the differences. Uh, what is your, your feeling about all these metrics? What is more uh, important? Also considering the, the distribution of demand across the country. Well, of, of the demand, because uh, okay. one thing is uh, the distribution uh, the structure of the network, mm -hmm. the links, all these characteristics that you study through your metrics. Mm -hmm. And another thing is uh, the, the distribution of the load, the requests okay. inside the network. So uh, have you considered this interplay between these two aspects? Meaning that if I have, for example, this may not be real, uh, realistic, but okay. ju just an example. Yeah. If I have all the load, the requests coming from a single part of the network, yeah. Then placing a, a cash location there. No, but in this case, be oh, this is, these are. Yeah. No, I mean, these are uh, uh, backbone networks. So we suppose clients to be spread on. Uh, but, but this spread is not true. Not not true. true. This, this is not true. true. I think. I think that this is not true because when I was working for for a while uh, mm -hmm. in design of uh, of back backbones. Yeah. So the design when you put lines optical fibers depends on the amount of demand that you have. 
And we're you taking, mean that? Okay. Yes, we're taking measurements like from Germany. We're taking from different cities. Yeah. And that was there was a very big uh, fluctuation of. Uh, you mean between different? Yeah. It was, for example, uh, the Ber Berlin uh, communicating with uh, I don't know like Leipzig. So the University of Berlin, there are I don't know like uh, we have five universities. Leipzig okay. have one. So it was uh, an asymmetric. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. That, that's true. It, it will be considered also the, an, uh, an heterogeneous scenario in terms of, uh, of all the distribution among the network. In these uh, simulations, we will consider the uniform distribution. Of, yeah, of every, the every, yeah, you have a client who mm -hmm. asks okay. for a request according yeah. to zip distribution with the, the okay. given lambda, but the rate is uh, it's, it's the same. Okay. Same lambda, the same. Okay, but but some process I just wanted like, to, to yeah, say yeah, that yeah. this of distribution course. may not this be can, so uniform. This yeah. can have an impact, of course. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you are you are right. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So you just one question yeah. to be sure I understood that in the end you show that no matter which method you choose among all these centrality criterions. Or even if you do it uniformly, you get just a 2% percent different difference yeah. in the cache heap. So then, what happened with the other metric? You you showed a, a graph where you had uh, something called pass stretch, or whatever. A yeah. Graph with an yes. What is okay. this other metric? I mean, if it doesn't change anything to choose one criterion or another for the cache heap, then why? No, it, it, it seems no, it changes no, more for the pass stretch. No, no, I mean it so changes. You, ah, you mean uh, you? Can but I mean it, it, it changes within two percent in relative uh, yeah, in relative error. Like so then the why don't you look at another stretch, metric? Uh, yes, we, because right. maybe for the past stretch, for example, it seemed that the methods were giving very different results. So then, but doesn't I mean, that mean case, that you don't really care uh, about in this? In this case, we have metric. We have considered just. Uh, I mean. Uh, we are considered the the shot on. We are considered one. I mean, one repository, different clients. So it's <coughs> the the. If you make you, you have a, a anyway a, a solo trip. So the cache sheet and the the past stretch are correlated methods. So maybe it can change, but uh, I we have seen that the, uh, anyway. It doesn't change much. <coughs> we have we have done that what you you suggest, but anyway, it also for the past stretches, it does not uh, not change much. Maybe in different scenarios with uh, more repositories, with multipath, we can have some uh, some increase in past stretch, uh, more more than in uh, in the hit rate. But in this this is not I mean this is not the case. Because you have a, just a, a tree on the network, and uh, so the cache sheet and the best stretch are mm -hmm. related methods. So I have a last question: Why the third uh, and la the, the sixth and last speaker uh, prepares itself? If there is any question, otherwise let's thank the speaker.